Ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? This is your man's Veracity TT, back again with another tutorial. So, you know, Akai has recently just put out the MPC 2.11 update or whatever. And you can see now on my last video, I upgraded the firmware on the MPC and it fixed some of the issues. But since then, I have not tested so right now from there i'm updating the mpc software here on mac mini m1 and you see it says you are running version 2.11.1 you see so my mpc has already been upgraded to 11.2 right so right now um, i just launched it and i got this message and decided to go ahead and do a tutorial and see how everything is working just so you guys can see if you run into this situation all right so let's go ahead and download the update okay the update is done double click it it's right there and probably gonna have to exit out close him down let's install so you can see here in the name we have 2.11.2.2 there so we get a screen like this it says select your MPC I have the live 2 update MPC software continue continue agree um, I like license manager I already got I like um, yeah that's what I want notes can be found huh. <laughs> real convenient new plugin instruments are available you must first download and install their content files select get synth content from the MPC application menu to download So right here, yep. So I'm just gonna run it here. That's for Windows. I'm gonna open this. All right. Move to applications. We even notice that you are running the MPC content manager from your applications folder. Would you like to automatically move this program into applications? Yes. Take up all my Mac Mini space. <laughs> Take it all. Hmm. So it says these are already installed. So no, I'm not going to mess with any of these plugins. You know why? Because I'm going to continue using key groups. Like, don't get me wrong. Some stuff in there sound pretty good and pretty decent and be nice to have standalone. But I look at it like the more you create your own instruments and double in sound design, the more knowledge experience and the more you become you in your sound that's how you really find your sound you experiment you find the stuff that you like you you just look at all your work you make enough beats if you haven't made at least out of your whole time producing if you haven't made at least 300 beats then i don't know and I ain't talking about beats you made in five minutes. I'm talking about each beat. You tried a different technique. You tried something and you can look at it and learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, before I go, 
let's check and see if we can actually run the MPC software in Rosetta mode. Something I always like to check. So what I'm gonna do is you just right click here, go to show and finder. When you hit options, the option, show and finder. And then it'll go here and then click on it, get info, open using Rosetta. So if you are having issues with connectivity and other things, we can always try opening it using Rosetta. So first, before anything, I'm gonna try to run it in the Apple mode, the native mode. We're gonna see how it performs and what glitches we have, what plugins this is working and what isn't. Okay, so right now guys, I'm in controller mode and I'm gonna see how everything works in controller mode for part two. Part three, I'm gonna do everything in standalone mode and see how everything is working there. So I read you guys' comments. Some people said plugins aren't working or scanning. Other people are saying, you know, their controller. But see, you can see this right there. So my controller is working. I'm hitting my MPC right now. So that's definitely working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to load some plugins here though. Um, I'm, I need preferences. So go up here to the MPC menu, hit preferences there. And let's go to plugins and let's just hit rescan all. So I'm going to be looking for certain plugins because now this is M1 native. And if you have plugins that's basically not M1 native, you may have to put your DAW in Rosetta mode. All right, so plugins are done scanning. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to go right here and we're going to see what's working and what isn't. So got my audio units here. All right, you know what? Let's see. Okay, this is the stuff I was looking for. All right, so all of the SSLs looks to be working. Slate Digital Fresh Air, Sound Toys. What is not working for you guys? Let's go to Waves. Yeah, all the Waves plugins are here. Let me try the 76. Yeah, it seems to be working. This is Waze version 14. I don't see no issues so far. So my plugins are working. Um, yeah. So even even though it's in native, M1 native, it's still allowing me to use plugins that's not M1 native. So I'm gonna load this just to make sure. Yeah. All right, so you see it. So plugins are working. Um, let's try something else a little more serious for plugins. Let's try. Let me go down. Let's see if ozone is working. Yeah, guys, it's working. Let's try. Mm, it looks like Waves is working. Let's try Underwater. Yeah. I'm gonna try this too. Yeah, guys, this stuff seems to be working. I don't see why you guys are saying you having issues. Um, <laughs> all my plugins work. I'm not sure how it will perform when sound is actually going through it. Let me check my um, EQ. Let's check the Pro-Q. Yeah. This is M1 native, but 
if you do need to put it in Rosetta mode, just hit options, right click on the MPC software, hit options, show in finder, right click on it, hit get info, and then you can select open using Rosetta, close out the uh, MPC program and relaunch it. And that'll get you in Rosetta, some of your plugins or VSTs may work if it's not working in M1 native mode. All right, so it seems like my stuff is working though. Try contact. Seems to be working. 